Privacy is, is a significant issue, um, not least because people find cyberspace and digital environments very intangible. Um, they understand how to make their house private, they lock their front door, well they hope that that works, and they lock their car doors, and, and, but when it comes to being private online, people don't understand that very easily, and, and the truth of the matter is there aren't very good controls out there. Um, and there is a potential conflict between the need to govern environments and govern states and protect people's individual privacy. And, and, and that has to be negotiated, um, has to be fluid, and it will change over time. Some people believe that it's not just changing in one direction. It will move like a universe and expand and contract. And that might be related to people's roles in society. It might be related to their age. Um, it isn't necessarily the case that teenagers give everything away and that they will want to give everything away when they're 50 and they're all running, running our countries and our boards. We don't know that yet. Um, certainly, it's, it's true to say that there's an issue, a wildfire issue, in terms of the co levels of connectivity in cyberspace mean that the old-fashioned checks and balances, um, so editors of newspapers stepping in and deciding if there's an, enough evidence to publish a story and the like, um, they don't hold true in cyberspace for social networking sites. So we do have issues in terms of the speed at which information and data can get out there and how one might try and control that um, in, uh, in, to, in the expectations of today's society, as well as understanding what people's expectations are. And of course it's compounded because cyberspace doesn't respect national boundaries. And yet privacy law and privacy rights are governed in a national sense. Well, certainly in the European region, um, they transcend some national boundaries. But in the global sense, they're, they're governed in a national sense. And so it isn't clear how one maps this issue of this space that has no national boundary but has citizens of cyberspace who are also citizens of nations and who will have expectations on their personal privacy. That's a to-do item for sure in the 21st century. 